take on ourselves and take within their pain so that we can return to them the gift of joy and hope and love and mercy and justice and compassion, whatever it is that they need for this time in their lives. Uh, the book says that in this practice, we take suffering from others and offer our love, our courage, and our joy. Tonglin can also be used to reduce our own suffering by freeing us from our own excessive self-concern and focusing our attention on others. And you know, whether you're Jew or Christian or, Bu or Buddhist or Muslim, that is so true. That when we move beyond ourselves to see the needs of others, we find healing within. It is so true. I've seen it happen so many times in my life and in your lives as well. And Tonglin can allow us to become an oasis of peace and healing. Wow. So I'm going to make a point that Tonglin, as a spiritual practice, whatever your faith background might be, um, is something you can do individually, but it's also something you can do communally. And our church is doing this communally that we are taking on the suffering of others and returning light and love and joy. I'll give you an example. The Christian Church Disciples of Christ in Georgia, including our congregation and many others, is helping to resettle a refugee family from Afghanistan. It's happening now. We are actively engaged as a church family in doing this. And the family that we are starting with has 10 children ranging in ages from one year old to 16 years old. And um, if you want to participate and support, here are some things that are happening. Uh, there's a team in formation that begins, they'll be doing visits with the family in December. Um, they've completed volunteer training and filled out the application and had a background check. Um, and so that's a team, but you can still join this team. You can join this. So let me know or let Kaylee Hargrove, our seminary intern, know that you want to do this. We have several people who are working to collect items that are very specific, household furnishings and other items like warm coats, etc. cetera. Um, if you want to be a part of that action, let us know. And third, they're looking for donations. This is a and we're seeking to raise dollars. So if you want to give five or nine, nine, um, towards this good direction. Our making a significant towards that 3,000 but any lip now helps That is the practice of Tonglin, that we as a family of God are reaching out to help alleviate Light and love.
fatality. Food, coat. Support. Family, not just for a day or a week, but for months, because this is about relationship building. All right. The next thing that's going on is that our congregation is hosted. day of remembrance service there's two services one is here at the church p.m. on Saturday evening and that Uh, Atlanta and Decatur citywide gathering. Um, it's going to be online. in person and that's from at six o'clock sanctuary and you're welcome to that. The transgender community uh, is very much aware with them that hundreds of folks have been murdered because they are trans. This past year alone,
because they are trans. And that is revolting. That is absolutely awful. And so we are gathering to remember, to lift up. We will say their names. 